it's if he's probably relying a lot on like the bucket. Yeah, yeah. But going up against Burr, uh, you expect to see the Terry. You expect to see Inkling. Probably Hero. I would, that's that's the that's, that's the, the squad trio that I, I would, would guess. expect. Yes. This All is the characters. Three that Burr has like by far the most results with. If he gets like really pressured, there is possibly an Incineroar. Yes. Uh, all, all characters that Burr has uh, had, like, like you said, real tournament success with in singles, all characters that he has uh, considered a main at a point. Terry, me, Gunner, and Roy. Interesting. Uh, Terry okay. also on Spark's side. That's the other character that I couldn't remember. He likes to, of course, abuse the, abuse the frame data that Terry brings to the table. Abuse the ability to hold forward. You know, I really, I really also like the 3-3-3-3 uh, the three, 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 three loadout that yeah. uh, Spark has, unless that's a smoke screen, and it's actually like 1-2-1-3 or see. something like that. That would be really funny, but for Squad Strike in particular, if it is indeed 3-3-3-3 three, 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 like it does say, mm -hmm. I believe that includes the kind of sure you can uppercut right. uh, up B that Me Gunner can have, and that in Squad Strike I think is amazing to just net out that early kill. You definitely want... Uh, Squad Strike is the format for cheese. Mm -hmm. You pull out the one silly stock every time. And then, you know, maybe maybe afterwards you, you start going back to the traditional game plans. Kind of like what we saw in Winner's Finals. But, uh, hey, this <laughs> this one, honestly, this could be uh, a whole lot of a different story than we saw up in Winner's Finals. Let's see how it goes. Spark is actually going to lead with the Shy Guy, Me Gunner. He's got that grenade, of course, which is a massively good edge guarding tool, even against a character like the Inkling that Burr is starting with. Man, I, Burr, his loadout is literally the order of characters he's mained in this game. Starting with the Inkling, moved on to Hero for a little bit, and then settled on Terry. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I really like Spark's idea of starting with me, Gunner. Kind of put them at a uh, at a mindset of how they have to fight this me, Gunner. Right? And mm -hmm. kind of also the litmus test of, do you know the matchup? Right? Because if you don't, this character can definitely Ooh. cheese the heck out of you. And he also, Big if you notice, absorbed that splat grenade. Burr right now, not quite able to get the kill out of the roller right there. You know, not a whole lot of rage, and Me Gunner's a little bit heavier than you might expect. But catching that air dodge on the up air, platform coverage from Burr is always really nice, so he's going to push Spark onto the Terry. Yeah, now Terry comes out. We'll see. Inkling has a lot of really good movement to deal with Terry. I feel like almost feels stationary compared to this character. Jab, jab, power dunk, but great SDI. There is a lot of counterplay to that, and uh -huh. you'll see Burr is well aware of it. Uh, Burr being a Terry main himself, it would be blasphemous if he did not DI out of that almost okay. every time. There we go. Drops that one, but sometimes it's it's not easy to react every time, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get hit in an awkward spot. Ooh, Spark wants a Ooh. big early kill, Don't however. Have yeah. A burning knuckle. That's a great anti here. And now we're seeing Psych up already. Yeah, you get that bounce, why not? Man, power wave out of the oh my god, I don't want to I don't so want to deal slow. with this. Do you see? Spark was sitting on the other side of the stage, really had no way to challenge him just farming that menu. Mm -hmm. Especially if he has the bounce up. That's one of the big things you've got to do against Hero is force him out of the menu. Burr not messing with Hocus Pocus. He's right back to the moves. He knows oh, Spark he inputs misses the wrong his way. confirm. Inputs the wrong way. He got the up tilt that he needed as well. Oh my gosh, get him out of there before the power geyser even goes off. That whack. is a very smart whack. You can't even be mad at that killing. It was at like 150. 150. Eventually it's gotta be guaranteed. There we go. But now the Roy is out, the tried and true main of Spark. We'll see if he's gonna be able to deal. Now that he's got a little bit more speed, deal with the farming of the menu. However, right now, Burr with the oomph means he can do a lot of damage. Four throw to get him off stage will certainly come out another whack as well. Because why not? Set up that Accelerotl. He is zooming across the stage. However, if he gets hit, he's exploding. That was Sour Spot Boom. right forward. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely out of here. But now the Terry's coming through. Going to be a forward throw, get some stage positioning. We're seeing Spark almost at 100%. I could, I could expect a down, double down tilts to Burning Knuckle, possibly Ooh. taking everything. Smart power dunk. Really good to get out of that downer situation. Uh, whether that was an actual spike or the stonks, that could have been big for Spark. Mm -hmm. Catches that forward air though. Burr making really solid ledge trapping options. Consistently poking with his down tilt. And yeah, that's kind of donk. Yeah, you gotta, again, it's not always easy to react in the SDI out of that confirm. And well, Burr's always gonna have that on lock. His inputs are clean as ever to put him up 1-0. Right, constantly pestering with the down tilt, kind of pressuring, making the opponent wanna press a button. 
and mixing up the timing there at the end with the jabs instead of the down tilts. And Burr looking solid as ever. I, I don't know. Falco? Is this Sparks Falco? Out of Spark, it, it, may, it may very well be. I've never heard of either of these two players playing Falco. I, but I'm I excited to see I, I, either of them I could expect to play a mean Falco. I've, I've heard of Burr playing Ooh, Falco in a different Spark. game, but no, it will indeed be Spark actually leading with the Falco. He was not very confident in how that Terry looked against uh, a bona fide Terry main. You saw you that know? Burr was constantly SCIing out of the power dunk confirms. Yeah, what, what's crazy is outside of that power dunk scenario, we did, we did see the Terry put in a lot of work, but a couple of missed inputs oh here and there. Goodness. This Falco is already out of here. We'll never know. We'll uh, never know. A zero to death and a taunt from Burr to boot. I mean, by the end of that stock, that Falco looked like a toy soldier, both neglected in the box and by color. Oof. Now we're seeing the Me Gunner out to play, sitting a little bit more of the defense. Oh my. No, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, this is also, so I was wrong about this. This is the arm rocket, which gives you tons of malleability on that recovery for the Me Gunner. Mm -hmm. And now here comes the edge guard. If you've played online, you've seen this edge guard before. Yeah. If you've played online, you've experienced this in extreme latency before. And yeah. God rest your soul. <laughs> yeah, good good luck getting out of that. And good luck landing against a Me Gunner once he finds you uh, to be a good target, honestly. <laughs> So now Burr at 120%. Only takes one more big hit from Spark to do this. And one of those grenades at the ledge could also make it happen. You can see set up in center stage. He is all but, oh man, I, I really thought that he had that ledge guard up, but Burr's avoidance on these grenades has been really good. Yeah, one of the big things was the fact that he was able to cross under stage meant there wasn't as much pressure at the ledge as he would like. Not, not a double setup, right? Just one grenade. You block him. So we saw Burr able to get back to center stage. Now applying pressure, catches the jump though. Very aerial character and Inkling is gonna wanna jump. So you'll see that up smash come through. Oh, Spark also showing off that the Me Gunner can go underneath the stage. Burr had it a little bit earlier, oh, but what bounce. do you do against bounce? You gotta wait it out. It's not your turn to play. Mm -mm. Now Burr gets to play the game for a solid 10 seconds, you know, after, after that sequence. There we go, bounce is gone. Let's see what kind of pressure we can apply so that we don't see another menu farm. Psych up comes through. And now not a lot of mana left, up but throw. we do see up throw is gonna take it. You bounce bet the reactivated. No, oh, now you don't really need the bounce against Roy. Nah, no. but it does take it off the menu for more menu farming later. Oh, good point. There we go. Now we see forward throw set up. Great DI to just drift to the ledge, jab into the double edge dance. That could have been huge. Oh, that's a jab reset. Burr actually finishing it off with the jab. I think he may want to down smash. That is a crit F smash on shield. So half of Spark's defense is gone. Wait. Oh my yeah. goodness. Spark says, do not try to cheese me again. Absolutely not. You've got to play an honest game. And then Burr said, okay, I picked Terry. <laughs> and Burr said, oh, okay. Well, an honest game, he says. Jab, jab, power dunk. Still poking the shield, looks like. That down tilt. If Spark had tried to buffer a roll there, he would have been super dead. Mm -hmm. All right, roll back into center stage from Burr right now. You can see that all he needs is to connect that confirm into the power dunk or down indeed tilt. the burning knuckle to mix up that DI. That down tilt is such a good tool for poking. It feels so safe when you just are, are mixing it in with the dashes in and out. And going for that burning knuckle as a confirm is so nice. Mm -hmm. Down tilt really gets a lot for this character. You saw confirms, pokes, like you said. Whole lot of stuff that you can set up with that Terry down tilt. See that we are Roy, V Gunner, and something here for Spark. Shulk. He's gonna go to the Shulk, which honestly, I don't wanna play against a Spark Shulk. I already know how quickly he presses buttons, and now you mix Monado Arts into that? Man. Sounds like a recipe for uh, lots of pretty colors. Yeah, the thing is we're seeing now Spark is very clearly soul searching. He has, he has some other characters that he can play, but none that he feels comfortable against the squad that Burr has lined up here. We'll see. Like you said, he's gonna be pushing some buttons. If he can use the Shulk to make big plays happen, or if Burr's comfort is gonna come through, make this a quick 3-0. Mm -hmm. I mean, Battlefield is the pick here, which will of course help out the Shulk 
quite a little bit. And uh, also the me gunner, if you actually get the lead and if you can start camping out uh, whatever Burr is bringing to the table after that. But it does require you to get the lead and that is currently not available for Spark yeah. as he drops that burst stock. Gone is the Shulk. A little bit too far to recover. Only 31% on Burr, very reminiscent of what we saw last time. Last time it was a zero to death, this time it's not that much better. You see those explosions carpeting the stage right now, but Burr is having no issues maneuvering around them. It's only uh, really once he gets close to the Mii Gunner that he's actually having trouble keeping the defense up. Nice cross up with the Nair, sets up the ledge trap again. That, uh, as far as I'm concerned, might be just a guaranteed grab. Yeah. With that, the way that as, looked. as plus as it feels like that grenade can be. Hey, Burr with that up throw though, he's gonna get a cute little combo, more than just cute in fact. Some would say that that combo was beautiful. Oh, However, the that bonk? the other way around, it's so hard to bonk on Battlefield too. Yeah, you rarely see something like that. The bang comes through, kaboom for round two, but oh, that's a we big eat heal. good tonight though. Absolutely. And now we're probably not gonna be seeing menu farming quite as much until we see this bounce. Mm -hmm, that's all that Burr wants. Now he can just run at the Mii Gunner freely. Using that Nair. Nair and back air, that's the name of the game right now is Mii Gunner. That's all you have access to really. No absorb there on that Kaboom. He's almost gone as well, but Burr has got to play an honest ledge trap right here just to get some of that magic back. Mm -hmm, stuck with now 14 mana. It's climbing. With that hit, he's got some reasonable mm -hmm. use. Love back to see the heal right there. He would have had the bounce, but doesn't need it anymore, so he gets that oomph. And that oomph is going to be putting on a Good lot of damage. Forward. Down smash, okay. I don't think Forward Smash would have uh, been able to but get But not have been confirmed. No, no, no. Yeah. My, my brain was just in concerned territory. Oh, yeah. You got to be concerned making this recovery against the Roy as well. Burr able to make it back. Mm, with that air dodge, now we're in territory. We got Burr coming okay. through. Last stock. Again, <laughs> it's going to be the Terry versus about a 90% on the Roy. Mm -hmm. We saw pretty much this exact same situation in that last game. Burr can keep this pressure on in the corner. This could be a wrap. Again. The Burning Knuckle comes through again, and it's a 3-0 for the turning locator TO. Yup, with Burr came in, all it took was that one parry for the Terry to get the double down tilt, connect to that Burning Knuckle, and seal out the game the same way he has 